Hello and welcome to a new video on the String Metrics channel. My name is Hervé Jeanne and I would like to present today a set of strings by Jargar Strings. I don't know how, is, how this is pronounced correctly. Maybe Jargar? I don't know. Um, but interestingly, it says on the envelope that these strings are handmade in Denmark since 1956. And uh, I read on the website of Jargar uh, that the story is that um, a cello player called Jarl Hansen, he was a player in the Royal Danish Opera Orchestra, and he was not satisfied with the strings that he had in that, in, at the time. The, of course, these were gut strings. So um, he decided to make his own strings. He experimented and he used metal instead of, of gut. And um, yeah, a couple of years later in 1956, he was ready to, um, to, to create his own company and, and produced uh, the Jagger strings since then. I don't know exactly when the bass strings came out, maybe a couple of years later, I'm not sure. Uh, but um, definitely these strings have been on the market since a very long time. So it's not the brand new Jagar here just came out. No, no, these strings are on, on the market since a very long time. So these strings have a metal core and a metal surface, flat wound, very nicely made. And in the Dolce version, the uh, ends of the strings are both green. Of course, due to the history of this brand, these strings were primarily made for uh, orchestra playing, arco playing. Uh, but still, I was curious to see if these strings could be interesting to be played pizzicato. And uh, yeah, let's find out. And uh, for today, I thought I will not start with the little phrases that I play in most of my videos. I will start by playing a solo tune and uh, later I will play the phrases. Okay, have fun. Thank you. 
So here's my personal opinion about the Jagar strings. Well, I was um, positively surprised about the, the warm, um, round sound of these strings. They also have a, a nice kind of a punch or a little, like a little cloud of sound coming when you pluck them. That's very pleasant and um, yeah, it kind of reminds me of an old school gut type of sound. It's short, it's dark and it's kind of punchy. But uh, what makes them very different from um, gut strings is that they have quite high tension. Although they are called dolce, which would mean soft, I don't find them that soft. I will put the tensions on the de description. see that these tensions are um, not too typical of, of low tension strings. Yeah, so that that's results in the fact that you don't have this uh, bouncy feel when you play, play the strings. But who knows, maybe some players will uh, enjoy exactly this, a uh, more kind of old school type of sound, but still slightly higher tension. Actually, I found out that quite a lot of players like to use just uh, one or two Jagar strings as part of a mixed set. What else can I say? They are very nice to be played Arco. So I would say for players who play mainly Arco and occasionally Pizzicato, these strings would be a very good choice. Um, for, for pizzicato players, don't await from these strings to have a very versatile string. You have really one type of sound and uh, no growl and no, no really singing possibility. But for some styles, this may be exactly the right thing. So let's now move to our sound examples. So, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a like or subscribe to my channel. And um, you can actually compare these strings directly with other strings on my website. Uh, I have a string matrix where you can compare over 30 types of strings that I all played on this bass. Uh, if you don't know that, check it out. If you would like to support my work, I would be very pleased. You can leave a tip via PayPal or Ko-fi. The links are in the description and um, yeah thank you very much in advance and i hope to see you very soon bye bye